my daughter and I found this lawn tractor for free on the side of the road. We wanted to make a little electric utility task vehicle to help us get chores done around the house like moving firewood and gardening. The cheapest, easiest way to do this is just to remove the internal combustion engine and replace it with the batteries. You just use a trailer and haul stuff around. All you would need is some mechanics tools, a little knowledge about electricity, and 450 bucks. However, we had some additional design requirements. We needed to extend the wheelbase so we could sit side by side and have a little truck bed over the rear wheels. In addition to extending the frame, we needed to move the steering wheel forward and to one side. This turned out to be one of the more challenging problems of the build. The next morning we got to work stripping away everything that we weren't going to use. It's totally stripped down. I cut the middle section of the frame out. Then I used salvage angle iron from old bed frames to make the wheelbase longer. Bed frames are good steel, but it's hard steel, so I have to use a friction blade to cut it. It'll rip the teeth right off a bandsaw. After determining the length by imagining where the accelerator pedal would be, I finished the welds. This is the $449 package deal that had everything that I needed to make it run on electricity. Except it came with a chain and sprocket, but I want it to be run on belts. So I need to get a pulley for that belt on here. Now this pulley, there was a bearing in the middle and I took that out and I made this little insert that goes in here. Um, this would be a little bit hard to do without a lathe. The shaft of this is slightly bigger than the drill bit that I have. And so it won't quite go on and I need to make that shaft size smaller because my next size drill bit is way too big. It's just a little bit off in size. And I have hooked this up with the batteries. So if you hit the pedal, then you get the rotation. This is hardened steel, so I'm gonna have to sand it to get that to go on. Weld this to this, and uh, then I have a pulley instead of a sprocket. I covered the top of the motor with some cardboard to keep any sparks from falling into the vent holes and tacked it in place with a MIG welder. Then I welded it all together deep with the TIG welder. If you do do this, make sure you don't get your motor too hot. You don't want to burn out the windings. After that, I welded up the mounts and the bracket as well as reinforcing the frame. B did learn how to weld, but for now she's not interested in doing too much of it. I don't blame her. It's kind of messy, dirty, loud, sparky work. Hey, can you work the steering wheel real quick? This is the head of an angle grinder, and that's the head of an angle grinder. So when you work the steering wheel, it will turn the wheels. Shortly after this was filmed, the small one broke. So I scrapped the whole idea of using angle grinder heads and went back to using the part of the original mechanism that I had cut from the frame a long time ago. I had to move it up in front of the wheels to make it work right. This is what it looks like now. Doing projects like this one with my daughter is my life's joy. She never ceases to amaze in her spirit, humor, ingenuity, and creativity. I love that she's willing to do stuff like this and that she knows how to use tools. I love that I can trust her not to cut herself with a razor knife. I hope that she learns how to use materials around her to confidently make her world a better place without harming it at the same time. But in this process of editing these videos, I see a new reality of who I am. My self-identity is that I am a cool and nice caring teacher. But in the video footage, it reveals that I'm a balding, semi-driven taskmaster, always focused on the project. I hear myself saying things that I didn't know that I said, 
and I can't believe that I let these times go by without marking it in my memory as a precious moments that they are. Yeah. Honk, honk. No, I found a little part that goes in there. Did? Where is it? It's in a cup down there. All right, so that's not bad, eh? Not bad. We've been waiting to do that for a while. Got it totally rigged up. Scary's not quite as positive as I'd like, but just get the job done. Show mom how it works. Stop, forward, back. This is from the hair dryer. Really? Yeah. So fast, medium, slow. Gone off. Get it. Before we could totally finish it, we had to put it to work getting ready for winter. It moved about three cords of firewood, much easier than the old wheelbarrow. And up to this point, we're only into it for about $500. $450 for the motor and batteries, and about $50 for the upholstery stuff for the bench seat. Everything else is salvaged. Check out part two right here to see how we do finish it with lights and stuff. Oh, oh my god, you almost blew me out the back. <laughs> I almost ended up in the trailer. Oh Thank my. you, and take care.